Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Arcade Block. Of course, as a standard, it is... Well, actually, it's a little late, isn't it? Because it's like, what, the 5th today? Yeah, today's the 5th on January 2016, and this is December 2015's Arcade Block. So, a little late, but, uh, you know, Christmas, New Year's, that kind of thing. Not going to hold it against them. All right, so... Let us begin right off with whoop, stuff. Okay, so we have a shirt, as is normal. <laughs> At first, I thought it was that uh, Call of Duty shirt that we had uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. What are we? Just Cause 3. Yes, um, I have been watching a lot of videos and, you know, GIFs and stuff about Just, Ca Just Cause 3. And it makes me almost want to buy it, but uh, I never really got into Just Cause 2. And from my understanding, Just Cause 3 is more of an extension of Just Cause 2. And yeah, while it looks fun as hell, I can't even get the hang of the controls with Just Cause 2. So eh, yeah, not going to be doing Just Cause 3. But I respect the game. I understand that people like it. I also understand that, yeah, it's a little not very well optimi optimized for a whole bunch of PCs. But hey, that's the advantage and disadvantage of the PC world. And that's infinite customizability, basically. So, yes. All right. Uh, now, we see this thing, but I'm going to ignore it for a second. Because I'm more interested in what this is. It's a Street Fighter patch. And it's actually a real patch. It's not one of those iron-on ones. It's an actual Street Fighter patch. That's actually kind of cool. Um, was never a fan of Street Fighter. Always was a Mortal Kombat person myself. Didn't like the fighting style of Street Fighter. But that's still pretty cool. All right, so now it's on to the bobbly head. Or the, the I don't know, big head, basically. And it's, you know, just chibi Last of Us characters. Okay, I know very little about The Last of Us. It's a zombie survival game. Um, okay, apparently you could have gotten Nathan Drake. Uh, Joel and Ellie figure sets. Okay. Hmm. I want to point out that on the picture, Joel is taller than Ellie. Probably because I think they're like father and daughter or something like that. I don't know. But the the... the you know, the, the figures. That's the word I'm looking for. The figures themselves are the same size. Huh. Whatever. Um, yeah, they look like standard, I don't know, chibi figures. They actually don't look good at all. Uh, they're... I don't... Where is my knife? I don't have my knife. Jump cut! Alright, so let's take a look at these guys. Because I'm not too terribly impressed with what I'm seeing through the plastic. Whee! So much packaging. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, there we go. Um, I guess she's supposed to have freckles, but that doesn't look very well, and what the hell's up with her hair? I just got a molding vagary, apparently. She's got a hole in her hair. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like she's supposed to have freckles, but they didn't do quite a good job of painting it, and I somehow doubt the GoPro is actually getting that. But it doesn't look all that good. Um, yeah, he looks very pissed off. Like, you motherfuckers, you pulled me out of my box. Um, and she just looks, I don't know, terrified, basically. It's like, don't, don't do it at, yeah horrible past that I would rather not relive. All right, moving along. We have another box in a bag. What's these boxes in a bag? Ooh. Space Invaders tin, and it's like a, a bank, a piggy bank that you can't get into. Hang on. Okay. Um, yes, it's a Space Invaders piggy bank, which is actually really cool. This thing's really thick for the bottom. Hmm. All right, that's uh, slightly unexpected. But that's actually really cool. I like that. That's going to sit up somewhere. Plop. Boop. Okay, we have Arcade Block 
casino cards, classic console casino cards. Yeah, okay, C, 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 C. Uh, just arcade, shaped like Game Boy, obviously. Yoink. Pocket knife. There we go. Let's take a look at these cards. I like, I, I, I like cards. <laughs> I really do. Um, not for any particular reason. I mean, I like to think I'm fairly good at poker, um, but for the most part, I just like tricks with cards, and that kind of thing, card tricks and stuff like that. So I have a fondness, an affinity for cards. Whee! Let's take a look at these things. The <laughs> the Joker's that dog. Oh, but they're artistic. That's actually a little disappointing. I like how they're all rubies. Uh, let's see, Link, Zelda, Ganon, Metroid. Oh, I get it. The different suits of the different games. Uh, trippy. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so mushroom suit, leaf suit, tunoki leaf suit. Oh, okay, not tunoki leaf. That's the from, yeah, that game that I can't remember the name. Fuck you, Tom Nook. I didn't ask for that frickin' house loan, you bastard. <laughs> okay. I like the ruby, but, uh, I don't know. I, I just don't like the artistic... I, I just think it would have been better with actual in-game graphics, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, these cards don't feel quite right. They stick together. There's too much friction on them. They're kind of sticky. That's what they feel like. They're they kind of... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't feel like a, 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 I mean, they're a really nice deck and all that, but they're not good for like card tricks and such. So yeah, Oop. okay, back in the box you go. Yoink, okay. Yeah, the last deck of cards I got was from Loot Crate, wasn't it? Those were the Princess Bride ones. I still have them sitting over there in front of my monitor. Boop, okay, so deck of playing cards. That's actually kind of cool. Then we got another Space Invaders thing. Uh, pirate Cats in Space. Okay. Defend the Earth from Ferocious Alien Felines. And it's a notebook of some sort. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, come on. Out of the bag. Out of the bag. Come on. There we go. Whoop. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a notebook. Okay, interesting. Hmm, weird. What else we got? We got a uh, credit card-like thing, which I'm holding down just for a second to look at and make sure. Okay, what is it? G2A.com, three USD, thousands of digital products to choose from. The card value will be added to your G2A wallet and is only redeemable for purchase orders over $10. Use a, what? What is G2A? I don't know. Is that kind of some kind of like PayPal like alternative? Or is this like a gaming thing like Humble Bundle or whatever? I have no idea what G2A is. But apparently I got $10 for them. Or $3, 3 US dollars. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I'll have to look at that and see what the hell that is. I don't know. I don't know if that's some kind of PayPal alternative that I can use for like buying things, um, or if that's like some other kind of game platform like uh, the Humble Bundle or Good Old Gaming or I guess Steam. I keep looking at this thing, thinking it looks like the Oculus lenses. Yeah, I've been kind of working with that a lot recently. All right, let's see what's ref left in here. So we got that thing which we'll hold off for a second uh earn cash from nerd block that's their uh partnership thing which i never actually did sign up for because you know well, whatever uh boo -boo -boo. advertisement uh for january's arcade block includes an exclusive officially licensed mortal kombat x collectible uh with a little something from portal to keep your test facility safer hopefully it's one of the portal turrets that would be awesome um, I have one of the portal turrets. I love it. It's also sitting underneath my monitor. I have so much geek stuff underneath my monitor. It's ridiculous. All right, let's take a look at the what's in the box. The Just Cause 3 t-shirt. Well, we know that. And I'm, if I'm going to have to guess, I'm going to guess this is from Shirt Punch. Hang on. 
Yep, shirt punch. I'm about 90% sure that shirt punch owns nerd block and uses nerd block as an advertisement platform for its shirts. Now, I'm not going to blame them for that. They actually have some pretty good shirts and they tend to have some pretty cool stuff in the arcade block. So I ain't going to blame them for it. I'm just saying I think that's what it's going on. All right, Street Fighter V patch. Uh, exclusive classic console casino cards. I hate that. Uh, Space Invaders Tin Bank. Pirate Cats in Space Notebook. Uh, exclusive Last Enough Joel and Ellie 2 pack. Um, oh, there it is. Bonus gift card, $3 off your next game from G2A.com. Okay, so that tells me that, one, the card is for $3 US. Wait, this is, an, uh, this is a Canadian thing. Why is it US dollars? I don't know. Maybe G2A is US. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, off your next G2A.com purchase, which means that G2A is like good old games or Humble Bundle or Steam or something like that. It's a place to go and buy games. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Apparently, this is an exclusive Last of Us Joel and Ellie 2-pack. Um, okay. Arcade pr Block Product of the Month. I wonder if that's a normal thing that I've just never seen that particular comment. Hmm, whatever. All right, so let's put the advertisements back in the box. And now the traditional what all goes back in the box. Let's see. Yeah, they're going back in the box. I am not impressed with them whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the this, just what, see what's on G2A, but I'm going to lay odds that this is going to go back in the box because I don't really give a crap. The cards, they're good cards, and I always like playing cards, so I'm going to keep them out. I'm going to probably actually use them. Uh, let's see, Pirate Cats in Space Notebook. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to give that to my sister. I think she'll like it. My sister actually uses notebooks and such, so I'm going to give that to her. Street Fighter V Patch. Now, that's actually pretty cool. Hang on. Uh, no, I can't put this on my ba new bag anywhere. Just brought a band... Just bought a brand new bag for my brand new laptop, which is probably going to take starring role in another video some other time. Um, but no, I can't put this patch on there. And let's be honest, it's not an iron-on patch, but even if it was an iron-on patch, I'm never going to actually do it. So it goes back in the box. Um, Space Invaders 10. That's actually really cool. That's going on my desk. And I like the shirt the shirt staying out. I mean, what? We've gotten the whole way through a whole crap ton of loot crate and a whole crap ton of, you know, nerd block, and I think I've put the shirt back once. So, yes. And that is the nerd block arcade block for December 2015. I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game and have fun.